Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about cryptocurrencies. So let's get into it. So the question in question was posted on an old video I made about blockchains and cryptocurrencies and all that good stuff. And the question was, Frederick, do you have any updates on your thoughts on blockchain, cryptocurrencies and careers in the space since your last video on the subject? Well, uh, no, I would say that overall my position is pretty much the same. It's, I would say that it's sort of the same, it's the same sentiment that I have around what I like to call niche programming. Now, let me just define that before you go and think that I don't think that there's a future in blockchains and cryptocurrencies because that's just not true. Uh, it's the same thing with say games development or things like that which is or VR programming I get questions about that as well so what I try to do on this little channel of mine is to make content that is as boringly mainstream as it can possibly get and what I mean by that is that my focus is to educate and inform people how to start a career in software development and primarily that's going to be focused on web development and the reason is because very f it's probably the most mainstream thing there is within software development. Uh, that doesn't mean that there are no alternatives, there are tons of stuff, uh, there are tons of things that you could be doing apart from web development. Uh, I mean, if you look at machine learning, etc., etc., like there's these huge areas where there's so many things that you could be doing. But the thing here is that if your desire is to be a professional software developer, you should understand that, and hopefully this makes sense to you, that the big boring thing that 99% of us of us are doing. That's usually the the thing that people want want to know about. That's uh, well, unless they're into these more specific things, and that's usually the, th the where the jobs are. It's usually the thing. Like it's actually funny because I remember this quite. Uh, this is very R-rated uh, and not safe for work. But there was this guy who, who they they had. He got a question. He was working in the adult film industry, and there was this question from someone saying that, "Is it true that all the big money in adult films lies in these like more like niche type of things where people have like fetishes or kinks and stuff like that?" And he said, "Well, actually, no, because there's just a small portion of people who are interested in that and are also willing to pay for it. So in many cases, it's actually more true that the thing that is." mainstream is the thing that you get paid for and in software development it's a similar sort of thing if you want to be confident that you will get work regardless of where you live regardless of where uh, where you're uh, like where you want to relocate to or whatever and not have to worry about availability of positions or jobs and roles and so forth then the stuff that I make is usually for you uh, because that is the bo as I said it's the boring obvious thing when it comes to blockchain and cryptocurrency machine learning or games programming etc etc these are things like I mean varying sizes there as well these are things that are definitely things that you could pursue a career in but it's very unlikely that you will have the same sort of freedom and availability and choice as with web. It's 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 not it's that's I'm not in no way saying that one is better or than the other. It's more about like do you want to I don't know work at this tiny little bistro that does really really amazing things in the food industry or do you want to work at McDonald's? I'm basically calling what I do working at McDonald's in comparison. That's I mean, it's not 100% accurate, but it's the same thing. It's like a it's magnitudes of difference. So the same thing I still like I and that's the thing I said about blockchain and cryptocurrencies. There are companies who are making enormous investments into this. There are companies around, like there are startups that are in the space. I know that, I mean, they, I, they own, like, uh, I think that there was, like, I was looking for a job not that long ago, and I noticed that uh, uh, Opera, the the browser, uh, they were looking for, I think it was like front-end developers who had like an interest in cryptocurrencies and blockchains. So, it, like, but I mean, if you compare that to the one 
company that I found that was looking for that and and like nobody else and everybody else was looking for front end developer back end developer x amount of years of experience it's like the, as i said the, the, it's it's worlds apart in terms of availability but if you go to the i can if you go to the states you might find tons of that stuff or if you go to china it's also the sort of thing where you might find more available uh, opportunities but you have to understand that blockchains and cryptocurrency it's not a it's not like this universal thing that everybody does it's the same thing with vr programming there are a lot of opportunities around the world if you if you're looking for that sort of work but it's not like you're going to be able to go down the street to your local depending on where you live of course go down to your local uh, job provider down the street and find the exact position that you want to work with more very it's very unlikely wherever you live that is on the other hand usually true for web depending of course once again where you live so what i want you to take away from this is that no my thoughts on blockchain cryptocurrencies and careers in that space is pretty much the same and that position is that if you find this stuff interesting and you think that it is the future because at this point it's established uh, there is a market for it it is a growing market but it is also a emerging type emerging type of thing it's not something that is it, it's uh, it, the availability of positions for blockchains and cryptocurrency development is not at the scale where you can spit in the air and be comfortable that you're going to find something which is usually in many cases the situation if you do web development because web is as universe is at this point fairly, fairly universal it's it's everywhere and with that said if you are interested in making a career in cryptocurrency or blockchain programming and you're willing to consider relocating or maybe working remote or things like that there's absolutely opportunities available to you and you can make a career in it uh, but you have to think about it in a similar sort of way as what a games developer does or a VR programmer does etc etc you should understand that what you're doing is something that it, there's a it, it's it's a space just as every everything else and in that space you're going to do a lot of programming but it may not necessarily be the most mainstream thing out there so if you want to say switch from blockchain programming and cryptocurrency into something else there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve but i mean that's true on the, the other way around i mean if i wanted to work with blockchain and cryptocurrencies i would have to educate myself in order to be able to do that so it's really up to you to decide what are your long-term goals and if you really want to bet on blockchain and cryptocurrency go for it if, as long as you're aware of the like the the trade-offs and the decisions that you are making have a great day